breaking news from CBS 17 News. The House has overridden the governor's veto and the bill becomes law, notwithstanding the governor's objections. Somebody notified. After some tense debate and a chamber filled with both supporters and protesters, North Carolina's abortion bill becomes law. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. Thanks for joining us. Late tonight, the state house decided in 72-48 vote to overturn Governor Roy Cooper's veto. The Senate voted earlier this evening 30-20 along party lines. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue tells us things got pretty tense following that historic vote. Protests spilled out of the state house gallery by opponents of abortion restrictions in North Carolina following the House vote. It came after more than an hour and a half of debate by House lawmakers. North Carolina women do not need to be protected. North Carolina women can make their own decisions and we do not need politicians to do it for us. It is a duty to protect each and every life. Republicans in the state Senate and House decided to overturn Governor Roy Cooper's veto to a bill that restricts abortions after 12 weeks, with exceptions for the mother's life, rape, incest, and fetal abnormalities. A doctor at a rural medical center worries that the new law could not only make necessary care out of reach in time for women in rural areas, but also worsen the health care shortage. Immediately, women will die because of this, and long term, the state will be severely impacted by this in terms of our ability to provide health care to the entire state. Supporters of the new law hope $160 million promised to boost services for women, children, and adoptions, among other things, will open up more family planning options. You can't just shout like pro-life from the rooftops, but then not be there for the families and mothers in need. Afterward, you got to continue to be there for them and, and provide support for them. And the law's 12-week abortion restriction will take effect July 1st.